Hi! In this video we're going to put together a little application in Scratch which uses Google Teachable Machine to do some machine learning and then pulls it into Scratch so that you can code it and create a little project. So I've uh, put together this project in Google Teachable Machine um, just like you did in class and I created two classes one for happy faces and I uploaded lots of um, pictures of me that using the web camera um, being extremely happy and then lots of pictures of me being extremely sad and what you can see in front of the screen is the result of that so uh, if I go happy face you can see it's predicting with near certainty that I'm happy and if I pull an exaggerated sad face then pretty much it recognizes that I'm sad. So I can probably use that uh, information to put together a project in Scratch. So let's see how we do that. First of all, I need to click on Export Model. And when I do that, my face is going to disappear, but I hope you can still hear me. So this is where uh, you've got the link to your model. And I just need to click on Upload My Model. I've got to upload it to the cloud before I can get a link to it uh, in the cloud. So it's going to take a while. It's saying Uploading. And come on, Upload. And there we go. And you've now got a link. I can just copy that link. And I've now got a link to this project that I created. So let me get out of here and let's open up Scratch. Okay, so here I am. I've moved over to Scratch, but I've moved over to a special version of Scratch. So you are in uh, scratch.mit.edu, but they also have a playground. Uh, so you need to use the link to playground.raise.mit.edu slash main. So I'll provide you with the link to that, but that's the, the URL that you need to get into this version, which has extension code for the um, Teachable Machine. So if you click at the bottom left-hand corner here where it says Add Extension, and you go and you find Teachable Machine, and you click on that, it gives you some code for Google Teachable Machine. So if I just drag this one across, it says Use the Model, and then I just paste in the, uh, the link that I got from Google Teachable Machine to my model. So I'll use this code to be able to access what I did in Google Teachable Machine. Absolutely amazing functionality. Um, I'm also going to need to turn the video on. So I've already done that so that you can see me speaking in this window. But I'm going to click here on Turn the Video On. And I need to run this code when I start the machine. So to do that, I just go to Events and I plop on when it's clicked. So when you click the flag, it starts running to the code. I've also chosen a sprite here in the corner. Uh, so this is Abby. I've decided to use that one rather than the default kitty. Uh, and I've set the size. So if you click on the window here, you can change the size. If she's a bit too big, then you can make it a little bit smaller. So the application I'm going to design is when I pull a happy face, I want her to say, hi, you look happy. And when I pull a sad face, I wanted to say, oh, sorry, you look sad. So, fairly simple application, but quite fun to play with. So let's set that one up. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to my teachable code. And you'll see here that there's a little bit of code which says, when the model detects happy, then what must it do? Well, the easiest thing for it to do is to say, um, Hi, you look happy. And if I just duplicate that code, I can change it to say when the model detects sad, then it's going to say, oh, I'm sorry, you look sad. So very simple bit of code but quite effective. So let's see. I'm going to make myself try and look happy. You 
can see it works quite well. Now you've got to use very exaggerated expressions when you're training the Google Teachable Machine and when you're using this application. But I think that's a really neat looking project. And uh, you can uh, save your project by going File, Save to your computer. So this one doesn't have kind of sharing functionality because it's in the playground. It's not on the main MIT site. But you can click Save to your computer and you do, it goes to the Downloads folder. And it's just called MyProject.sp3. So the .sp3 tells you that it's a, um, a scratch file. And then you can, um, you can share that file with me and I'll load it up here uh, and I'll be able to to see the amazing work that you've done. Now that you've got this kind of simple project, think about, well, what if my project isn't about happy or sad? What's well, about something else? Well, adapt your project to work inside this window. Have fun with it. If there's any added functionality you want to put, um, just throw it in. Um, but I'm extremely happy with this project. Bye for now.